If you know you want to become your next level self, become that next best version of yourself, but maybe you're not, not sure what the next steps are, or you're feeling like there's, there's something there keeping you stuck. And you know that there's more in the tank for you to literally explode and go into that next, next, next version of you, but you don't know where to begin, right? Now is the time to evolve and expand on who you are so that you can go out there and create that reality that you know is waiting for you and go design the life of your dreams. It's literally there. And your next version of who you are, he or she is living that out right now. So let's get you there. It doesn't mean letting go of who you are right now, you know, completely, or that you're going to fake it until you make it that energetically really doesn't work, but it does mean, you know, that there's so much more in store for you. There's so much more juiciness that you have not even activated or allowed yourself to have because you know that you're not playing full out. You're playing here, right? When you can be playing here and you know, you have the capacity to be playing up here. And this is what I want everybody to do because isn't it your time to go out there and thrive and do all the things that you know that you can do and have in your life. If your current reality right now is reflecting things in your life that you do not want or places that you do not feel like you want to be, then there's something that needs to happen in order for you to change that. And having the awareness to say, you know what? I don't like how these things are looking right now. I know things can be better. That is the first step, right? Of acknowledging it. But now is, now is the time to take action into that next version of yourself. So you can have that. So you can become that elevated, upgraded version of who you are, who's living out that dream life that you know that you can be living out right now. This could mean up-leveling your standards. This is like such a game changer. When I up-level my standards, my bank account would up-level. Reframing boundaries with other people even your children, shifting and redesigning your current environment. That could also help you changing your wardrobe. This can also upgrade you towards that wealth and life of that you want to be living. I've created a life that I no longer feel like I have to wake up at 5 AM to be successful or to have the things that I want. If that works for you, that works for you. But I'm, I feel like I'm aging backwards because I'm not sacrificing or negotiating my sleep anymore or making myself have to live on a con the constraints of a schedule. That stuff can eat you. For this process to be successful, it's really important to align with what works for you. So do what works for you. I know that I live my dream life every single day. I wake up without my nervous system dysregulated because I'm supposed to be somewhere at 5 a.m. to get somewhere at you know 5.45, to get in the shower by 6.15, to do this by 6.30. That is not how we were designed to live. Man created that. This, that's the version of, I need to work hard to have success. I no longer subscribe to that. No longer remember. I canceled my subscription to that life. I created this channel so women can step into their wealth unapologetically. They can master their emotions and then they can go create their realities of however they desire. If you're ready to claim all this too, then go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell button. So you can be notified when I'm dropping a new video. All right. Things you need to follow when we're designing this, right? Number one, what do you really want? I know that might seem like such an easy question to ask, but you would be surprised how many people actually don't know what they really want. They have conditions about, about, about what they want. So if X happens, then I'll, I'll, I'll have Y in Z, you know, Unless X happens and I'm not going to have Y or Z, so I'm not going to even ask for it. And many of the times people are letting fear get in the way of what they actually want. So they don't want to be disappointed and let down. So they play really small with the things that they want. So they're not really going for those big, big, big goals and dreams because I don't know how that's going to work. I don't, I don't have the, you know, the resources for it. They just don't allow themselves to really go for what they want. I want you to decide what is it that you want and go big, 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 big bigger than you ever have before. Don't let the how stop you because when you let the how stop you, you really take away the capacity for it to happen. The how is none of our business. We just have to assert what we want. This could be anywhere from having additional revenue streams, more aligned relationships in your life, the way we design our life and the level that we wish to experience it at. So in order to rebrand your life, you need to make categories, different areas of your life that you, where you want to see them elevate and expand and upgrade, right? So your money, you know, what are the income that you want to achieve your business? Where do you want to be in your business? You know, the end of next year or this time next year, where do you want to be? Your long-term visions, where do you see yourself in five years and 10 years? Do you see something, you see that happening for you? You know, do you see that reality happening? And if not, then you're really playing small, you're playing in increment. So how can you really go beyond or how can those magical or miracle opportunities show up for you if you're paying, playing like right here? So if we don't have clarity, we really have nowhere to go. Listen, the GPS needs the address. It needs to know where to go. Your universal forces need to know exactly where you want to be so that they can start moving for you and help you get there. We let fear keep us from going outside 
of that comfort zone, right? They always say that the magic is outside. You ever see that meme where like, here's your comfort zone and here's everything that you want. It's on the outside. But a lot of the times we let fear keep us in this comfort zone and we don't let ourselves get outside of that bubble because of fear. And we like, we like to know how things are going to work out. We like to know the outcomes. We, we don't like the unknown. And you've got to be able to embrace that because if you don't, you're not going to be able to get all those things that you really do truly do desire because you're playing it safe. Once you have your mind on something, I truly believe it becomes law because it's like, that's mine. It's like a little kid, you know, when they say, I'm going to have X, Y, Z. I know this is how my children are. When they decide that they want something, I want something. I'm telling you, it just shows up because there's no other things that are stopping us from believing that it's true. Because if you're all in on that, guess what? You're all in on it. So the, that's the outcome. It's happening. So what I did was I, instead of having, you know, a picture of my kids on my phone, I have all the things as my, my lock screen. I have all the things that I want to create, everything that I want to created my reality. Because what I'm doing is when I look down at that phone, I'm literally telling myself, these are the things I already have. This is already, you know, my life. I'm looking at it. I'm programming my subconscious to believe that this is my reality. So it's my expectation of, of course, this is on the way to me. You know, I do suggest you updating them and change them as things become actualized in your life. You can change that out because you've already created that, right? Put something new, something fresh, but at least have things on there that you are visualizing, but also program that subconscious. You're emotionally connecting to it. How many times do you open your phone in a day, right? Unlock your screen. How many times are you looking at your phone? I'm telling you, when you start doing this, it becomes your law. I did this when I was uh, manifesting my G-Wagon, I put it on my phone and I put that I'm a millionaire. And guess what? Those things actually came into my life. I didn't know where I was going to get the money. At that time, I actually didn't have any money. And I just truly believed that it would happen. Well, within a year of me putting that on there, I became a millionaire. All these things started coming true. You have to put them out there. You have to start believing. You have to have the expectation that it's going to work out. So number two, how can you level up your appearance and your environment? Your home environment affects you more than you realize. Having a messy room, having you know a messy car, having a messy purse, you know, living in, a, in an area that doesn't, doesn't feel like it's got clarity in it and it's got clutter, it's, it's going to be programmed inside of you. A lot of the times when we look around us, you know, if we do see, you know, things do get unorganized here and there, but it's when we continuously live in it and we're not noticing it, we're in some sort of survival mode. We're just like, oh, I'm just going to ignore that. I'm just going through the motions with that. But be proactive on really bringing your environment into a place of calmness and clarity because the less things that you have in there, the less things that are taking up energetic space for you to have to maneuver. Because when you have less clutter, you actually raise your frequency. You, are, you, you expand and you evolve more simplistic, it's better, but people like to hoard things and keep things from the past. Everything holds energy. So what are you keeping around you? What you get, what can you get rid of? Make your home environment be something that you're walking into your, you know, this is your kingdom or your, you know, where you go, if this is how you live, treat your home that way, because it is a place where you spend most of your time. You know, for me, I went and got rid of a couch that I had for years and I went upgraded and I bought this beautiful couch from our house. It was a little bit of a, you know, an investment because back in the day, I never bought anything unless it was on sale, right? Or it was a deal. You got all three pieces in a set. And here I was buying a couch that literally I'd never spent that much money on a couch. If I, if I figure it's on a couch, I've never, but when I bought it, every time I sit on it, it's in my family room and it's big enough for my whole family to sit on it. I feel wealthy. I feel something about it. And I, I love that feeling. It's luxurious. I painted the whole house. I came in, got some painters. We repainted everything in you know, a nice white color. It feels more luxurious. So it doesn't take a lot of things. You can do them yourself or you can hire people, but maybe there's some places in your, your home that you can upgrade, get rid of, and it would make you feel wealthy because your environment is always speaking to you, right? So what do you want it to be telling you? And what do you want to be working with it to co-create your future? So what about the way we dress? You know, I always ask myself when something's questionable, like a certain piece of clothing, like would, my, would the wealthiest version of myself be wearing this? And if the answer is no, then it's got to go. Because if I'm just wearing something because it's out of habit, as opposed to like something that I would love to wear that it, it goes down to even your underwear and your socks. If you're wearing socks that have holes in it, then maybe it's time to get rid of them, right? Maybe it's time to upgrade your socks and upgrade certain areas in your life. Maybe that bra that's like hanging on first, last thread, you know, the one that makes you feel so, so comfortable, but maybe it's got to go. Maybe you need to upgrade and get something else and break that one in. I always look at what would my wealthiest version be doing? You know, when you do your hair and makeup, sometimes you, it makes you feel a certain way. I'm not saying you always have to do that because sometimes, you know, just a fresh, clean face with, you know, some leggings on feels really comfortable too, but what makes you feel in your most elevated place and elevated way instead of just putting on jogger pants or, you know, I'll give an example. I think it was during 
a certain time back in 2020 where I was wearing elastic pants all the time, right? And before I knew it, things had started shifting around down there. And I was like, oh no. Or how does that thing go? Oh no, oh no. That was kind of what was happening because I didn't realize I wasn't putting on jeans anymore. And so I wasn't actually getting dressed up and I was transforming into another version of myself that I didn't really particularly like because I was not keeping up with the way that I was. And so I had to go back to that and be like, hey, no, I love dressing up because I, I we weren't going anywhere, right? I wanted to make sure that I kept myself up. It's really important for me because how I look is how I feel personally. Everybody else might be a different story, but when I see someone disheveled or they haven't put themselves together, I always think to myself, what do they actually think about themselves? Not what I am looking at them like, why don't you dress up for me? But it, how do you feel about it? If you feel okay about it, then go right ahead. But if, but I personally feel more empowered when I'm feeling great about myself. Again, makeup or no makeup, hair done or no done. But as long as I feel a certain way, how I'm looking, as long as I'm not looking sloppy, you know, that's the, that's to me is the thing. I wake up when I was working on being my wealthiest version of me, I woke, I woke up and I acted as my wealthy version. What would my, what would she be wearing? How would she be carrying herself? What would she be doing? Would she be taking care of how she is? Would she have, you know, a, uh, a skin routine? What would, what would it be? And I, I started enlisting that and it started making me feel like who I was. So I was already working on becoming that future self of mine right now. And really it's like self-love. You know, I went to Pilates today for, for almost an hour. Then I went to my infrared sauna and then I went for a walk and then I did certain things that were for me, right? These are things that help me feel good. These are self-love things. So getting dressed and taking care of yourself and keeping your environment clean, those are self-love things too. And just think about it because the more that you pour into yourself, the more that you're not going to dread how your environment looks, you're going to feel excited to be around it and you're going to be more creative. Number three, how can you start investing in yourself? So I had some of the biggest shifts in my life when I started betting on myself. When I started making investments, it's into me, even though I was investing in mentors and whatnot, because I saw how I was letting fear stop me from becoming that upgraded version of myself. So when I saw something that made me go, hmm, or made me go, yep, I went, I was like, I want more of that. And I would invest in that person, person's program. And because I was investing in myself, because I knew that it would help me. Where are you like not allowing yourself to do that, right? I saw people doing things that I wanted to do. I saw them doing it faster than me. So I figured if I hired them, they're going to get me that result quicker. And guess what? It worked because I didn't have to go through all that rigmarole that they did. They got, they, they, they did. And I just got to, here's, this is the steps and how do you do it? So I invest in people who are going to give me speed because money loves speed. So the more that I was able to find somebody who, who had perfected and did what I wanted to do. I signed up with them. And guess what? That means I was able to implement it faster. These are the things that people are afraid to do because they let, they're still exchanging time for money. They're still worried about the little nitty things. Like, what am I going to get from this? What's the ROI? Instead of looking at the big picture, like what are, who are you going to become? What mindset are you going to have? What actions are you going to take? And in those actions, who are you being in those actions? Because the, the, the thought process and then the action that could turn into millions, which it did for me. One mentor, one thing literally opened up a whole slew of offers inside my business that led to, led to millions. And it was one thing, one conversation that shifted me, $50,000 investment. But people who still ex exchange time for money are so afraid to make investments because they're afraid of like, well, I need to see the money coming back to me because they're thinking so limited. They're not thinking bigger. They're not thinking beyond what could you become. This is why so many people don't upgrade to the next level because they're playing it small. They're living small. They're being small-minded down here. Don't let that be you. So people ask me, how did I make a million dollars so quickly? Well, I, I saw people figure it out, you know, and I went and followed them and they helped me. Oh, looking so at the new habits you want to reinforce in yourself, like going to the gym or, you know, going to the infrared sauna place, maybe starting Pilates, maybe having better standards in your relationships, whatever it is, these are also going to help you upgrade. Number four, money habits. If you're going into 2025 with the same money mindset and money habits that have kept you stuck and kept you from your millions in 2024, guess what? You're going to keep repeating that pattern again. Nothing's going to change just because the clock goes to 2025. Money is so much more emotional than people realize. And once you uncover that, that emotional money story, you open up to so much more wealth in your life. It is it is the key to everything. And it's not just about feeling guilty about money or shame about things. It's a deep thing. And when people understand this, they open up so much wealth for themselves. If you still feel like you're not supported by money or money always runs out, or you're afraid that it's never going to be enough, then I want you to dig into that story and find out what are you telling yourself? What are you truly believing every single day? And is it true? And is it really a reality that you want to keep creating over and over again for yourself? You know, when someone tells me I'm having this money issue or that I'm, you know, things are strapped in the moment, 
it's because they believe that it is because they have not changed the way they're thinking. So guess what? Their thinking is creating that reality over and over again. Where are you limiting yourself from really upgrading into that next elevated version of yourself? So one of the things that I did, and it's a one minute money move you can do every day is start looking at your bank accounts. I know a lot of people don't like doing that. They don't like looking at their Stripe account or they let their significant other do it. You are the one that needs to be empowered. And sometimes my account didn't look that great, but you know what? I didn't want to be affected or be running from it or feel like I wasn't still in control. So even if the bank account's not looking the way you want, it's okay. Still look at it because you want to become so neutral about it that it's not affecting you in a negative way. It's like, oh, okay, here it is. This is what it is. This isn't my final destination. Don't let that reality be all there is. Perhaps you're looking at your account and you see a hundred thousand dollars. Well, what if you want to see a million? There's still more room to grow, right? Unless you don't want an extra million. Okay. But this video is probably not for you, but for those of you that want the more and you want to add more and you want to create more, start thinking about, you know, what are things you can do daily? I want people to take the fear out of money, take that fear out of like money's controlling them. Their, their environment is being dictated by their, I, I don't want to look. I, you know, it's better that I just pay and pray and, you know, I'll just figure it out later on. That's what little kids do, not grown people. You want to be a good steward of your money. You want to be the one that's in control. This is where you want to be emotionally mastered around your wealth. You want to take control of it, look at it, be okay with it, and then allow yourself not to feel all that guilt and shame that really does come up. I have amazing tools that I teach on this subject. So well, if you want to go deeper on this, you should come to Chicago on October 25th and 26th. We are doing an in-person two-day workshop called the Wealth Consciousness Experience, the Quantum Leap Edition. In real time, we're going to help you move through the things that are probably not helping you expand so that you can go into that next elevated and upgraded version of yourself. Depending on where, what money you're making, there's always more, but there's also this elevated version of yourself who's who's, who's not playing small, who's going playing full out and is allowing them to, you know, allowing themselves to have all the things that they want. Right. And not playing tippy toe around their success, but like, here it is. I want it all. That's you show up in Chicago, October 25th, 26th in the West loop of Chicago. We have the most beautiful venue. You're going to be with other women in there that are also going through the same process. And then you're going to have, you know, a great community. We have the most amazing lunch, you know, set up, uh, this experience is going to be incredible. We're doing workshops. You're going to have specific things that you're going to be doing. We have you going through the process in real time. Those two days could quantum leap you two to five years in the future. Imagine coming there and like, you're not, you're not just looking at 2025. You're looking at like, Hey, way down the road, right? Because you're going to be able to be so far in advance because you're moving yourself out of those limits that you're keeping yourself in that you don't even realize that you're doing right now. Also, if you have not got unlocking the quantum woman, go ahead and grab this book right now. And if you have not joined the quantum woman group on Facebook, go ahead. Also, if you have not subscribed to unapologetically rich, our podcast, go ahead and subscribe. People binge that podcast. They're making money on that podcast. Go listen to it. It's a game changer along with this book. Come see us in person. You know, a VIP day with me is kind of hefty. So come there. You can get access. I think we've got like two VIP tickets left. You can get, jump in the room, be around the other millionaires, be in a place where you also can expand. And if you want help with some of the programs that can help you move through the things that you already know that are there and one of the ones that you don't, message my team at support at and we'll be happy to help you. All right, stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.